Hi, this is Jackie Ann Patterson. I'm the editor of Backtesting Report, and I am recording this video uh, because I think I'm probably not the only one who wants to know how to pick good times to buy stocks. And this video will also answer a question that I often get asked when I present at uh, money shows and whatnot. I present about the truth about MACD, and people ask, well, why the MACD? And uh, so in this video, I want to show you some of the things that got me interested enough in the MACD to do all this research in the first place. Um, so what we're looking at on the screen is a chart of the spiders. This is in a tool called TradeStation, which is the tool that I use to do um, historical backtesting of the market. And uh, the price chart that you see, these red and green bars, this is a daily chart. Each, each of these bars represents one day of price action. It's green if it was an up day, red for a down day usual candlestick sort of thing. And uh, the price that we're looking at is, uh, again, the spiders, the S&P 500 in the U.S. stock market. And down below it, we have the MACD. This is the MACD lines with the histogram plotted underneath the lines, make it a little easier to see. And then we can see the, the time the time scale along the bottom, the dates. And uh, this is running from uh, about the summer of 01 out through the summer of 2002. And during this time frame, you can see that the S&P 500 was falling. And if you recall the time, it was it was uh, uh, pretty much a bear market as the the bubble burst. And now what I'm going to do is just stro scroll the chart forward. And uh, this chart is actually running a uh, strategy uh, for the, the backtesting engine, and the strategy detects MACD bullish divergences and uh, enters a simulated trade and then records how it did. So as I scroll forward here, uh, you can see these uh, words come up, the MACDL div buy. So this is the, the strategy detecting an MACD uh, divergence and here you can see price made a lower low the divergence made or the MACD made a higher low so that's a divergence and these uh, blue arrows indicate the strategy is buying and uh, as I scroll forward we'll eventually see a line either red or green showing whether the trade was profitable or not and this appears after the trade closes um, so we've got a, there we go. So out here, it found an exit. What it's looking for in this case is a symmetric exit, looking for the bearish divergence. We can see that on the MACD here, uh, making a, a lower high while the price makes a higher high. And so what has happened here is this dark green line shows the profitable trade that occurred because the MACD divergence flagged a really good time to buy here in the midst of that, uh, what appeared to be the midst of the the bear market, but is in fact, you know, the the beginnings of the turnaround. So I recall my mindset and my emotions at this time, and I was I was nowhere near any kind of time frame to to buy. I you know I I'd actually been uh, trading for oh some eight years by this time, and yet I still. Um, was very much hunkered down thinking we had a bear market. So when I later learned about the the MACD and saw that it did pick up this this opportunity to buy, this is what got me very, very interested in doing more with the MACD and doing more trading and doing the back testing research and um, you know that led of course to a lot of different things. So um, let's scroll forward here and see what else came from the, the MACD. I think pushing on this button is about the slowest scroll. Um, you can see more now that the chart reset itself. You can see this exit signal is called SIM. That's short for the symmetric exit. And I'm just going to grab the scroll bar here and see if I can scroll forward and find next interesting event here uh, with the MACD. In uh, 2004, the S&P got into this chop pattern and the MACD picked up a, a case where there was a, a, a divergence, and here we come with the, the buy signal, and that ultimately led to a profitable trade by the another green line there. And then uh, scrolling forward, kind of see what, what has MACD done for us lately. 
And here we, we find some more activity in 2008. Now these buried in here are some dark red lines for uh, a losing trade. And I know it's losing partly because it says ATR stop here. Um, and that's an exit signal that means the stop, the average true range stop was hit. And uh, scrolling forward, we can see that happened uh, several times after the, the uh, credit bubble burst or as it was bursting and probably no big surprise that these trades were losses um, and it's a good thing there was a stop in there to limit the loss as we see the extent of that. Now, oh and this one took a long time to uh, this final loss to to play out and that I know can be difficult and disappointing. But what's right next to it are some more blue arrows indicating a buy signal and uh, looking at the MACD on the chart you can see a very nice divergence divergence that came up there and as I scroll forward see how it played out this was a profitable signal and this I think yeah takes me up to the present date uh, but looking in I can put the crosshairs here I could see that this buy signal came in on March 10th of 2009 so that was a, a very good time uh, as the, as things did unfold in the credit crisis so it um, the MACD divergence did pick and pick up another good time to buy and of course you know this should come with with all the caveats here this is a a sample size of one that I'm showing you uh, with the S&P uh, 500 and within that of course there are some losing trades it would have required some persistence here to to get in and take a loss and have the price fall so dramatically three times before uh, you know actually coming up with a with a profitable trade and so I uh, I hope this has shown you what is interesting about uh, the MACD and about MACD divergences and uh, also you know, with the caveat, like I mentioned, that you ought to look at the full, the full data set and not just base base your decisions and risk a lot of money on you know one video based on one one stock. So if um, if you are interested in learning more, there are a couple places uh, that I would recommend. One, of course, is backtesting reports, um, the the reports that I've researched and written about the. Uh, the MACD are called, they're in a series uh, called the Truth About MACD, and uh, they go through all the details of um, all the various signals on the MACD and then all the nuances of the different divergences. And I think you'll see that there are some trade offs to be made there and some choices as far as uh, which. You know which types of signals will suit you the best, and probably as you look at the data and look at the commentary, something will jump out at you, and you'll see that that's that's the type for you. Uh, the other thing, another step that you can take um, is to get better at uh, finding these divergences. Um, as you can see, even on on this chart, they don't come around all too often. So if you're just trading one market, you'll have kind of a wait. Um, and you need to wait and be ready to see them and um, it's probably good to have I really don't have time in this video to go through all the nuances if you're interested drop me an email and um, if enough people are interested perhaps I'll cut a series of videos on how to find these divergences manually and um, what I do myself is I use a scanner um, which is very similar to what you're seeing here in TradeStation, uh, similar software to look through all of the stocks in the U.S. market and flag the ones that are having uh, a uh, MACD divergence today. So that saves a whole lot of flipping through charts. And um, I support TradeStation, which I use for the backtesting. And then what I actually use for my own scanning is uh, StockFinder. So have software available for either one of those two. And and uh, let's see, where you can find all this nifty stuff is uh, backtestingreport.com. Um, also, we are doing a, a promotion at uh, truthaboutmacd.com. So that's all one word, uh, truthaboutmacd.com. And uh, let's see, I hope this uh, video has helped you. And uh, please do drop me a line with any comments. And um, I will talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.